Hello, good day. Once again, this is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools, particularly in Microsoft Word. In this video presentation, I would like to demonstrate how to use or create footnote and end dot and how to use citations and manage our uh, sources, particularly creating bib bibliography. So, just a few terms. I will not uh, discuss more on this. Uh, if you want to learn more about footnoting, citations, bibliography, the M APA format, the MLA format, or even the CMS format, then I would like, I, I encourage you to please uh, read other uh, or search for other websites that will discuss about this. Now, just to give you an idea, footnotes are actually notes placed at the bottom of a page where you place the footnote number while an end note is a text or note that appears at the bottom of the document. So, uh, both, of the, both footnote and end note are used to cite references or even a comment actually. Now, footnotes are used by Chicago Manual of Styles. Okay? Now, next is citation and bibliography. Citation is a quotation from a, fair, a reference to a book, a paper, an, or author. Okay? Even an article, for example. While a bibliography is a list of the books referred to or even articles or websites to a, to in a scholarly work typically printed as an appendix normally when you use an APA format uh, you prepare for example your bibliography at the end of your thesis or your research or your dissertation now uh, just to give you an idea uh, you either use an APA format or MLA format but in Microsoft Word uh, you, when you look at the style, there are a lot of styles used. So we have the APA, the Chicago Manual of Styles, and we have the MLA. Uh, there are others, okay? So let me just have this one. APA is for American Psychology, it stands for American Psychological Association. MLA is Modern Language Association. Okay, APA is mostly used in social science and education fields while MLA is more on humanities fields. Now, let me just give you an example. Say, for example, you have the author Alonso, the year of publication, and the page number. If you try to look at the MLA format, the year of publication is not uh, specified. If you have two authors, this is how you write it, while for MLA format, Again, the year is not placed, and you use whole word for the end. Okay, so th this table actually is a summary based on the article of Shona McCombes. Okay, on APA versus MLA, a key difference, and taken from the website scrib scriber.com. Okay, so now. Let me demonstrate how to create footnotes and insert citations into your document. So say for example that I have this one and normally say uh, according to Alonso. Say for example, I would like to include already a citation here. Insert add new source okay who's the author say for example arvin alonzo arvin let me just check if and what's the title of the book say for example introduction to computer let's just change introduction to computer programming and logic formulation 
Okay. Ah, by the way, let us change this one. What type of source? Say, for example, it's book. Take note, a book, an article, or periodical, or report, and other forms of uh, documents as the type of source. Okay. So, for example, I'm using book here. Year of publication. Say, for example, 2013. Uh, do you need to include the city? Okay. So, uh, you can che check all of this. Show all bibliography fields so that the other fields will, will appear. Say, for example, I just place here the, the place of publication is Bulacan, uh, Philippines. Okay. And then publisher, uh, St. Andrews. Publishing Okay, if there is an editor you place the editor and the volume number Volume and volume number. Okay, and many other information now, Assuming that those are just the information that we place click. Okay Okay, so you notice that here according to Alonzo Then the I did not place any any uh, page number so we just have the author and the year of publication okay so that's how to create or insert a citation normally citations can also be placed at the end of the paragraph or a statement so you can include other citations insert okay you notice uh, the first citation that we have is already appearing here if you have a new source click this one okay say for example uh, osnola libra title uh, it application tools in business say for example 2019 okay if in case you would like to include the city And who's the publisher? Say, for example, uh, a SIG publishing house. And then if you want to have other fields, then just click this one. Click OK. And there you go. That's how to create or insert citations. So every time you have a statement, a, par a paragraph, or a sentence caught from other sources, it's very important to insert a citation. That is to avoid plagiarism. In the same way, if we use a footnote or endnote, we, no we, we cite the reference. But how do we create, for example, a footnote? Say, for example, at the end of this sentence, I'll place a footnote. Footnote and endnote are just the same. It's just the positioning of the foot the, a footnote that you're going to place. So insert footnote. Uh, you notice that at this page, the first footnote is one, and you have the here one. So then type the source. Say for example, uh, A. Pungkat. Okay. What's the source? Save a title of the book or article. Say, for example, uh, accounting in private organizations. Then continue. Who's the publisher, for example? Uh, Luyun Publishing Okay, then page number P230 for example Okay, so you notice that you have the one there Now if you have another footnote Just position where the footnote number 
will appear. Then, do the same. If you are in page 2, for example, or page 3, the footnote will be placed on the current page. Okay, so that's how footnoting and endnoting uh, can be done. Now, how to prepare a bibliography? Say, for example, that I would like to place it at the end of my document as part of the appendix of my research or thesis or dissertation. I'll just click on this and select the built-in bibliography format. Okay. Say, for example, I'll click on this. You notice that the list of references will now be given automatically. In case, say for example, you use again the same cit uh, citation here, you just need to click insert citation and select from the existing. Okay, You can also manage, well, let, let us just check this one, insert citation, say for example this one. So you notice automatically it will give you the citation. You can also manage the sources. You notice I have here a master list, but what I am using are these two only. Now, in case you 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 need other uh, references here, say for example, I will have this data management. I'll just click copy. You notice it's added. And then now you can use that one later on. Okay, for example, insert citation, you, you notice that it's now added into uh, the list of citations. Click, so you have that one. Now, in your bibliography, let's check, you just need to update this one so that the other references will be added into your bibliography. Click update, you notice that the new reference has been added. So that's all for the, the demonstration of how to use citations together with um, managing all your sources, how to prepare your bibliography, and how to insert a footnote or even an end dot. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new in this presentation. God bless everyone.